Less than 9 hours to level 100 is possible with this guy. And if you are leveling in alt, you can even do it in 7 hours. So let's jump straight in. So there's a total of 11 steps that you have to follow. The first thing is that if you are creating a new character, you do want to skip campaign. And you do want to choose World Tier 2 to start. It's not World Tier 1 anymore that that's the best, like it used to be in the old seasons. It's actually World Tier 2 now, because they increased the EXP by to 50%. The first thing once you're online, the one you want to do is actually farm the legendary aspects that are guaranteed in dungeons that work for your leveling build. So you get the power scaling as early as possible. Then you will go straight into Hell Tides and you will spend those until level 35. And the way you are playing in the Hell Tides is if you are seeing that there is Whispers in the Hell Tide, you will do them. So you can get extra EXP and loot from the Tree of Whispers. If you are seeing events in the Hell Tide that give you Obels, you will also complete those. But um, your main goal should actually be to um, go to the accused ritual and keep spamming that over and over. And all of your shards, if you are safe and you're not dying, you should always save them until the last second of hell tight. Cause the experience you're getting from opening the chests scales with your level. So if you hold on to your cinders and turn them in, but in the end you will get more value out of them. Then once you are level 35, you do want to do the capstone dungeon in Kiova Shard. And the reason why you want to do that so early is as soon as you lock World Tier 3 with the capstone dungeon and you are level 35, you are actually able to wear the sacred items that are dropping. And then once you are changing to World Tier 3, the first thing you want to do is try to get one of those sacred weapons. This damage boost will make it possible, even at your low level, to farm World Tier 3 comfortably. And then in World Tier 3, you keep spamming Hell Tides until you are level 55. Once you are level 55, it's basically the same. You do want to do the Capstone Dungeon, this time it's in Tri-Steps. And this dungeon will then unlock World Tier 4, and in World Tier 4 the Ancestral items are wearable at 55. So it's basically the same step over, you go in World Tier 4, you go into Hell Tides, you try to open the weapon chest um, quickly with your cinders and get one of those ancest Ancestral weapons and then you can play comfortably again in World Tier 4. Once you, this is completed, you have your Ancestral weapon, you will go to the Tree of Whisper and you will start doing the Tree of Whisper until you drop a sigil. And once you have that sigil, you will try to spam Nightmare Dungeons that are always 10 levels higher than yourself. This way you will level up the fastest and the bonus is once you are level 100, all your cliffs will be level 21 and you're getting that insane power spike from the Paragon board early. And this is also the reason why this strategy is faster than if you would spam Helltide only or if you would spam Pit only. I am also having 13 little tips for you that help you get even more XP. And the first thing is at the Alchemist, you can go to Craft Elixir. And if you're going to Advanced Elixir, you will find Elixirs that give you 8% EXP. You should have them up running all the time. And at the same place, one to the right, you will find the Isense. Those will actually give you 5% as well, and they are combinable. So you can have the Advanced Elixir and the Isense up running at the same time. For the Isense, you always want to choose the main stat of your class. So for example, if you're a Sorcerer, you want to craft a 25% Intelligence Isense if you're a Barb, STR, and so on. If you are playing the Hell Tide and you're using that to get to those early levels, as soon as you feel comfortable and your strength is like you have a decent kill speed, you should always use the Profound Mind Cage. That's an item dropped in Hell Tide and it increases the level of the Hell Tide monsters by 10 levels. And this is basically the rule. You're getting the highest XP bonus if you kill monsters 10 levels above you, so you always want to keep this gap. If you're killing some monsters like above level 20, your clear speed and your kill speed will just be lower. 
if you're doing it um, like at level 5 or above you, you will not get the full EXP bonus. So always 10 level ahead is the best. You will replace your weapons all the time. You should, when in your in the early game, your base DPS matters way more than the affixes that are on the weapon. So don't really waste your time checking the affixes. If you see, oh, it's higher DPS, just pop it. It's it's fine. Your strongest aspect should always be on the amulet because there you're getting a 1.5 multiplier. And since you're rotating your weapon, you should you will basically have to imprint again. And imprinting early on costs a lot of gold. So you want to imprint your base, but don't do the weapon. Keep it worth recycling. Then do not use scatter prisms at the moment in the early game. They have become really rare. They rarely drop from like world bosses and stuff, some goblins and some elites, but you do will not get a lot. I only dropped six pieces all the way to level 100. So only use them on your ancestrals if you have like two good rolls and you can actually enchant them. That's actually not true if you're going for tempering. Tempering costs no gold. It only costs materials. So this you should always do. Like always get like one temper on your items. Now it's really cheap and um, you have a really high scaling. Um, another point is you should salvage all items that have that little um, white cloud icon on top of them. Cause those, if you um, salvage them, will be go into the Codex of Power and you will be able to choose their, um, their power for your next upgrade. So you do not have to put all of those items that you might be interested back in the stash, you can just destroy them. But you don't want to salvage all of your, your materials and the items that you're dropping, cause gold is the bottleneck in the season, so you want to sell actually the most things that you possibly can. So that's why you only want to salvage those specific items. And also important to not waste your time. Do not pick up blue and yellow items after World Tier 3. It's not worth it anymore. They also sell for almost no gold. It's way better to always go back city once you have a full legendary inventory. When we are talking about master working, this on the other hand is extremely expensive. So I would only recommend at the moment doing that for best in slot gear. And um, another tip, if you are doing your season quest, you will get season rewards and they are not scaling with level. So try to turn them in as soon as you have the quest done to and get this value um, for like your clear speed early on. Another thing how you can boost your experience is by completing the battle pass, by killing monsters, earning some experience. And this battle pass will give you smoldering ashes. And if you press U, you can go into the menu and you can put those points into experience. And this way um, you will also level up faster. You should not miss out on that. And another, and my last tip is if your end game build needs any of the aspects that are included in the season journey, then do it. If not, I would not do it. It's a waste of time. Do it once you level 100. And maybe like one thing, why should you even rush to level 100? And the reason for that is once you are level 100, you're turning your ovals in, you will have guaranteed 925 item power items. And it, this season, it's more important than ever to rush to level 100. If there's any questions open, feel free to ask. I will answer all comments within 24 hours. Cheers.